Hi, I'm Aidan Ludgers and we're going to read a psalm and pray together. The psalm we'll be reading is Psalm 38. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Your arrows have pierced me and your hand has come down on me. Because of your, for your wrath there is no health in my body, there is no soundness in my bones because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I am bowed down and made very lowly. All day long I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. All my longings lie open before you, Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbors stay far away. Those who want to kill me set their traps. Those who harm me talk of my ruin. All day long they scheme and lie. I am like the deaf who cannot hear. I am like the mute who cannot speak. I have become like the one who does not hear whose mouth can offer no reply. Lord, I wait for you. You will answer, Lord my God. For I said, do not let them gloat or exalt themselves over me when my feet slip. For I am about to fall and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I am troubled by my sin. Many have become my enemies without cause. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. Those who repay my good with evil lodge accusations against me though I seek only to do what is good. Lord, do not forsake me. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly to help me, my Lord and my Saviour. Now we're going to pray. Lord, we thank you that you have turned your anger away from us because of a cross where all of our sins are paid for. Remind us to forgive and seek forgiveness. Let your spirit work in us and restore us to your glory where sin has corrupted us. Help us, Lord, as we feel the weight of our sin and suffering to seek you more because of it. Remind our hearts that you will never leave us or forsake us, for you are slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. We confess to you our sin. Great are the consequences of our transgression. Cleanse us for our iniquity. Thank you, God, for your great faithfulness. Thank you for your saving grace made possible through Jesus' res resurrection and conquering death. God, be our close guide through your spirit as we do your work and, build, and you build your kingdom. Let the world see your power and your glory. Amen.